Hey wizards, witches and muggles. It's your boy here. Are you tired of looking for clickbait get rich quick videos for Hogwarts Legacy? Because every time you try, the guy will say that you've got to be like level 40 or something. I mean come on buddy, the game has been out literally a few days, some of us touch grass. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make 10,000 gold pretty much right out of the gate. All of it can be done within the Hogwarts school itself, and I believe all you need to actually complete this is to have the disenchantment spell that you get very early at the start of the game. Let's get right into it my guys. The first of 11 chests you can find that contain generous amounts of gold can be found by clicking on the Great Hall, then fast traveling to the Viaduct Courtyard. Once you're here, head up the flight of steps, then up the second set you should see in front of you. Before you get near the chest, cast your disenchantment spell so the eyeball chest doesn't see you. For the second chest, head back down the stairs towards the fast travel point, now follow the path that I take to the underground harbor door, once inside, immediately cast your spell and the box should be on the left at the end of the platform. For the third chest, go to the grand staircase, make sure you choose the lower staircase fast travel point. From here, run down the flight of stairs, turn left, and the box will be right there. Now, for the fourth chest, we will need to head to the Annex Library section, from here you'll need to head to the Divination Classroom, I unfortunately haven't unlocked the fast travel so I will have to run. Once at the Divination Classroom, follow the path I take on this wooden platform right to the end, cast your spell just as you get to end and the chest will be there. Back in the library annex again for chest 5, you'll need to head for the greenhouses, use the fast travel if available. Once here, follow this path down towards this hidden staircase, at the bottom in this little room you will find the fifth chest. Now, for our sixth chest, head to the astronomy wing, then to the defense of dark arts classroom, from here, you go down the steps and at the bottom on the left you will find that bad boy chest. For the seventh chest, we're back in the astronomy wing, but this time head for Professor Fig's room, just inside the door in front of the fast travel point, you will find the chest, cast the spell before going inside. For chest number eight, head to the bell tower wing, then go to the bell tower courtyard, again, I don't have it so I shall have to run. Once at the courtyard, head up the stairs on the left hand side, and follow the path like I do, the chest will be at the end. For the ninth chest, you'll need to run all the way back down the stairs, then at the bottom go through the same door I do, from here, turn left down the stairs, then follow my path past the horse and the dragon statue, you will eventually run into this chamber gate, go down into the small room and you will find the chest down there. For the 10th chest you must find, go to the bell tower wing, then head for the west tower fast travel point. From the spawn point, follow my path outside this door, then on the left you will be able to find the chest just ready to be opened.
And finally, for our 11th chest, go for the bell tower wing yet again, and go to the north exit for Hogwarts, from here head back into the castle, up the stairs on the left, and then inside the door, you will find the last one in there. I have a little something for those who have progressed a little further in the game, and have unlocked the Hogsmeade area, some might call it some bonus chests. Well that's exactly what it is, I have 5 bonus chests you can go and find at Hogsmeade once you've got all of the ones at Hogwarts. For chest number 1, go to the South Hogsmeade fast travel spawn point, from here, follow the path I take and you will come across our first chest. For chest 2, turn around and follow the same path I do, up this long track, you will come to a hut that has a chest hiding behind it. For chest number 3, is a run away from the first chest, simply run on the same trail that I take to this shop, and inside you will find the second chest. For chest 4, run outside the shop and run up the little set of stairs, you should come across a bridge and the third chest is right below that. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Bruce, for the customer lost the deer around here. For our final bonus chest, chest 5, it is literally across the street at somebody's house, just follow the path. Guys, that's it from me today, I recommend you complete all of these tasks to set yourself up for early game, then later on you can actually do the other gold making methods like the other YouTubers have uploaded, such as the beast collecting method. I hope you're enjoying Hogwarts Legacy like I am. If you wouldn't mind, leaving a like and subscribe would be very appreciated. I would also appreciate some comments on exactly what you want to see on this channel. You know your boy. I'll upload whatever the hottest game is that's out at the moment. Or for those who watch my PlayStation 3 tutorials, what else would you want me to cover? More Hogwarts content coming on this channel. Cheers guys. Peace.